This video is about a very mathematical theorem, but the application of this theorem can be called pure math in the physics science branch. I disagree. Mathematics is our reality. Only physics is, a, is an extension of math language to describe our reality, and engineering is practical mathematics for human needs. Here we have three musketeers, Ludwig Boltzmann, Erwin Schrödinger and Kurt Gödel, and the last one are less known in the circles of the scientific community, even for his theorem is the most important in whole mathematics and can be compared to the Pythagoras theorem. The application of Kurt Gödel's incompleteness theorem is very limited. For example, in quantum mechanics you hear about non-Newtonian motion. So, Newton's law of motion never disappears even in quantum mechanics. Kurt Gödel's incompleteness theorem has zero applicable solution for physics problems. Incompleteness even suggests a negative implication of theorem, some kind of restriction or forbidden sub subject is implied. In my opinion, is very important as very important in physics, because we don't have unified theory of whole physics, many branches, but no one, but no complete theory or formula that can describe everything. Formulation of term I will provide from Wikipedia source. Gödel's incompleteness theorems are two theorems of mathematical logic that are concerned with the limits of probability in formal axiomatic theories. This result, published by Kurt Gödel in 1931, are important both in mathematical logic and in the philosophy of mathematics. Their theorems are widely, but not universally, interpreted interpreted as showing that Hilbert's program to find a complete and consistent set of axioms for all mathematics is impossible. We cannot fill gaps and unite all math into one nice formula. Same, pri same principle can be applied to physics, but it has one big exception, which is simplicity. We will try to find one math formula used to describe physics processes that is more universal than others. In a paper by Rudiger Thiele titled Hilbert's 24 Problems, in Chapter 5, Simplicity and Rigor, it is widely believed among mathematicians that simplicity is a reliable guideline for judging the beauty or elegance of proof, but like all aesthetics principles, such as a criterion is highly subjective, can one really say that certain mathematical proofs are simpler than others? Question mark. In other words, the question of what the simplest proof is depends upon interpretation, and interpretation brings non-mathematical concepts into play. According to our sources, Pythagoras theorem have 370 rigor math proof. But in my subjective opinion, the ultimate Pythagoras theorem is Euler equation. But also in classical me mechanics, this one is a very useful Pythagoras theorem interpretation to solve physics pro problems. For example, to find the resultant values of force, acceleration, or velocity, applying such Pythagoras theorem in polar coordinates. Kurt Hodel's theorem says that we are not sure, sure which is ideal starting point to decide which is a real and which is a real Pythagoras theorem, and all other 379 are derivatives or copies of this one real Pythagoras theorem. It always depends on circumstan circumstances of math, physics, or engineering problem. But these two stands out as most often occurring 
and I will try to prove that, is, that this is the nicest way to describe physics problems. A bit of history of how could Gödel's theorem have connection with physics. In physics we, we have so-called ideal conditions, which means that we have we can reduce physics problem to the most ideal and purest form. With now roughness, friction, air resistance, no heat losses, and maximum energy always at a constant value. In the picture, we have a ball rolling from inclined ramp without any external forces except kinetic velocity energy and earth gravity potential energy are equal. Ball rolls back and forth infinitely many times non-stop. At first look, under such conditions, Gödel's theorem can be refuted. Spoiler alert, to calculate velocity at the highest peak when all kinetic energy be becomes potential is impossible, and we have answer why. But for sake of an argument, we will say that Kurt Gödel's theorem in physics is not true. And in the spirit of Kurt Gödel's theorem, we must rely only on one theorem, energy conservation law in ideal conditions. If my proof requires an extra theorem, it means Kurt, Kurt Gödel's theorem is right and I am wrong. Our thought experiment consists of two massless springs with equal spring constant value and one ball of mass 3.5 kilograms. Conditions are ideal, which means no resistance friction is present, which means no energy losses in process of spring oscillation. At moment t equals zero, initial velocity is equal zero compressed spring by 0 0.3 meters, spring release potential energy at point B will have such velocity value under ideal conditions. And this process of potential spring energy transfer to velocity will continue till the ball reaches point C where again kinetic energy of velocity will be converted into spring potential compression energy and at full stop velocity ball will repeat the same process by returning where he started at point A and by such making full circle period process. Our task is to calculate the quar quarter of full period from point B at moment t equals zero with velocity 6.21 to point C when the ball reaches again zero velocity. We apply the discrete numbers method to solve per periods instead of calculus. In fairness to the experiment, I specially choose an example where earth gravity fall ex fall ex acceleration constant is not present even though it does not matter and this method applies to all physics branches physics or engineering constant cannot change math based functionality of a physical world here are initial conditions for period tau calculation together with initial conditions the algorithm algorithm shows simple kinetic energy of velocity transition into potential energy of a spring in process of contraction. The last equation in the sequence of equation is a very familiar equation from math textbooks, isosceles or square hyperbola. This isosceles hyperbola in the Cartesian coordinate system at scale 1 to 1 shows velocity change per time unit. It's a quite informative chart that shows that starting at a very low period t equals zero contraction of spring is a very rapid process. 
a very steep velocity drop in a very short period. But not forget, more spring is compressed, more potential energy, energy springs gains and more reverse force it creates to velocity inertia to compress further. Compression further becomes a very pro prolonged process that is nicely depicted in hyperpolar function chart. Short trivia from physics. We know that force measurement unit is similar to acceleration. The similar unit of inertia is mass. How to explain vision what is mass? The best example is by showing an isosceles hyperbola velocity change per time. More mass has an object, more time required to change its velocity. Mass is static potential field. Velocity is motion field of change. The symmetry line of 45 degrees divides hyperbola function into in two parts and the second mirror image I call velocity stagnation time shows that after, after velocity over time changes very and very slowly compared to the beginning when the resistance force of compressed spring was small and ball could move forward much faster over time. And this tendency is a fundamental property of iso isosceles hyperbola function, kinetic energy transition into potential and vice versa. We have a bit of a problem. We planned that no resistant friction or other forces are present in our thought experiment. But in our experiment, ball never reaches required distance L is equals uh, 0.3 meters and velocity never becomes equals to zero. We always have tracing errors or floating point in computer science, no matter how big calculation step is. A bit reminder, isosceles hyperbola is where math constant E result comes as a base of a natural logarithm, which is a never ending string of digits that even with infinite steps cannot end. Velocity in our thought experiment never reaches zero mark value. I think we can slide this infinity under the rug and we'll say that Kurt Gödel's theorem still stands because no alteration was done to our main condition, energy conservation law in ideal conditions. In this area, or this area from x-axis perspective, it doesn't matter, both areas are the same. Property of isosceles hyperbola is where 45 degrees symmetry line divides into equal area regions where every calculation point step n on x axis has twin brother value on x axis value at the same distance because because time units and velocity units in the chart was drawn at scale one to one thus multiplying summation area or or integral area by small summation distance from spring contraction delta, we can cal calculate the total time spring contraction time. Explanation where math constant pi divided by two comes from the from the uh, from the solution result is ball velocity is connected via energy conservation law condition in which kinetic and potential energies are quadratic function and both defined as an algebraic function of unit circle. Energies, energy in absolute measurement unit is equal to unit one. 
one of a fundamental law of nature of course we 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 don't have proof that momentum mass energy and information always sustain quantity conservation law maybe it is also Kurt Gödel's incompleteness uh, theory, theorem consequences but for energy conservation law it is a very useful notion constant pi divided by two comes into calculation from nowhere in textbooks it, it it's a given fact that isos oscillators must use trigonometric sine cosine function before this chapter we did not require any additional th theorems for our physics problems but in this chapter we introduce the euler equation for complex numbers without any additional explanation except that this equation is very useful to explain our physics problem that is where Kurtz Gödel incompleteness theorem comes to life, breaking the rule. Euler equation is the simplest equation that can explain every physics energy conversion problem, except self similar fractal equation we have different measurement units in different physics branches. Bring contraction length abounding in one quarter of Cartesian's coordinates by 90 degree degrees. Infinite periodic oscillation of a same pattern will be non-stop. First full period or full circle period is time tau multiplied by 4. For a quarter for measurement unit that can change in time can be described by the other equation for complex numbers. A chart that describes this equation for our thought experiment looks like that. This one chart defined by one equation contains all possible information about our physics thought experiment. The angle of radio shows time passing measured from the maximum value from the time function. We can evaluate spring contraction distance and velocity at that time moment expressed as angle measurement unit. We need one more unit, constant radius of circle, which represent our energy conservation law condition. We see that at time moment t, three fourth of total energy is in kinetic energy and rest of one fourth of energy is potential spring energy. Euler's identity according to the mathematician, mathematician survey is the most beautiful equation. In physics problem it is the most time saving and most densely information containing equation in all physics. We see that we disregard imagery number i and only care about velocity scalar magnitude. If it was a competition to explain physics in one shortest ti time, Euler's equation, an expression of Pythagoras' theory theorem in polar co coordinates, it is the most compact way to do it. We can generalize our thought experiment further. For non-stop periodic spring oscillation from angular velocity measurement unit omega, Earth gravity potential energy and ball kinetic energy will be a different example, but still described by Euler's equation. In such, in such case, a circle algebraic equation for potential and kinetic energy disappear, and we get a parabola relation between kinetic energy and linear earth gravity energy. In earth potential gravity field, we lose pi divided by two factor as, as period and instead we get a square of two factor which is not a periodic in nature but also irrational number same as math constant e and pi my thought was that linear earth gravity potential energy will allow reduce irrational numbers of pi and e but the same pri principle 
is the same uh, is the same that requires infinite many steps to get accurate result because both equations share the same hyperbola chart. We reverse engineer our previous example by projecting a ball with mass three and a half kilograms into air perpendicular to the ground without air resistance effect. In a circle, quadratic relation is velocity and time, an angle of rotation around circle and height reach is have sine squared relation. I am aware this is not convenient as the previous potential energy equation where kinetic and potential have squared values. That we have a, what we have in common is energy conservation law. This is true in both instances described by Pythagoras theorem. And a quarter of potential potential energy perfectly coincide with the quarter of height that we ball has reach. In the potential gravity, the case angle has no physical interpretation, where in the spring potential uh, energy example, it perfectly fits with the time measurement unit. From the blog post by Melanie Bailey, Alice's Adventure in Algebra, Wonderland Solved. Alice wanders into Mad Hatter's Tea Party, which explores the work of the Irish mathematician William Rowan Hamilton. Hamil Hamilton died in 1865, just after Alice was published. But by this time, his discovery of quaternions in 1843 was being hailed as an important milestone in abstract algebra since they allowed rotation to be calculated algeb algebraically. Just as complex numbers works with two terms, quaternions belong to a number si system based on four terms, free space dimension plus a time dimension. In our case, we have a one-dimension of physics an example, ball moves in a straight line. Quaternion's property is not very important, but complex number rotation is important. Hamilton wanted to introduce absolute time. Time is measurement between two events and is standard, standardized by humans, second, minute, hour, week, year, eons. Absolute time, independent of this subjective time measurement unit, can be complex numbers rotation around the unit circle. In my opinion, energy is also a non-dimensional measure unit and in absolute terms equals unit one. Maybe absolute time measured unit is a very high concept, but we cannot deny that trigonometrical relation between kinetic and potential energies are uncanny. From our thought experiments, we concluded that Euler equation left side represent unit radius or constant energy value magnitude. We know that Euler equation shows coordinate values x and y on the circle, but we also know that non-dimensional unit in our case shows time passage and is a set of multivariables x and y coordinates. In math, we can say that angle is a subset of coordinates x and y, or time is a set of angles. But in physics, space-time, continuum and multivariable distinction to one set have no purpose. purpose. They, they all are the same. That is uh, the logic behind the space-time continuum. Without space, no time passage, and vice versa. But tangent is a subset of sine and cosine function, derivative of both. Thus, we can simplify further Pythagoras and Euler equation. The angle, which is a parameter of a time unit, not change the total energy quantity, but the angle is the driving force of energy. Time always leads the energy. And here we need an explanation of quantity, con quantity conservation law in physics.
In the case of a constant earth gravity potential field, we have isosceles right triangle made of kinetic and potential energy, where the hypotenuse is momentum function x equal y. Isosceles right triangle hypotenuse length represents the dimensionless time dimension. The hypotenuse is the driving force of x-axis kinetic energy and y-axis potential and energy, but the hypotenuse slope is written as imaginary number. You can take a slow motion camera and observe velocity change versus high distance change over time. We can prove by observation. On our hand, change of hypotenuse function with imagery numbers is a bit tricky. In classical mechanics, in earth gravity field or spring potential energy, time always leads. In electric science, they are all, they all based on Euler equation, but here we have graph showing a voltage with a leading and lagging current plotted against time. Electric induction or electric current is kinetic energy and electric capacitance voltage is potential energy. It has the same relation as classical mechanics spring thought experiment. Electric current is electron number and flow in electric circuit per one second. Time unit leads energy units. I am not sure in the case of electric science where a current can leading or lagging. In classical mechanics velocity, velocity which is, has time unit always is leading. Time passage and angle change lead energy transformation of potential and kinetic energies and the sum of both energies is always a constant value. We can explain what is what is behind the term lag and lead. It means kinetic and potential energy are interconnected and dual measurement units. The best example is for calculation of electric impedance, where electric current and voltage expressed in differential equation from time have the same expression. Current and voltage are the same, described by Euler equation from angular velocity omega from time variable t. If nature plays the same game from macro things like a heavy ball to small like electron, it must be true for light, the smallest particle in fractal based self-similar structure of nature. The reason why I make this video is how one mistake was done in the description of light electromagnetic waves. James Clerk Maxwell defined light as a combination of electric field and magnetic field propagation in space, same as shown in this picture. Double helix spirals of electric and magnetic fields. Except for one deviation from present theory is that at moment t equal zero, Magnetic and electric fields have zero value. That is not true. At the moment zero electric field has maximum value. That is also can be easily proven that light photon particle at zero moment equation is this equation is different for particles with mass acceleration that requires an integration coefficient of half. The only massless light particle can have an instant speed. All other par particles have kinetic equation with one half integration coefficient. In that case, electric and magnetic field magnitude values or, or physics term is amplitude value in all equation have unit value. Such duality of static uh, electric capacitance capacitance and a kinetic electric induction can explain strange phenomena. For example, Bell paradox, where extra polarization of filter B allows passing more light than filters A and B. Even both variants have the same polarization angle 45 degrees. 
illogical violation of a, of a cause and effect principle. How light can feedback loop information about filters, number and angles between them? The explanation is dual spiral electromagnetic wave construction. Intensity, light intensity diminishing between two filters depends according to Malu law of cosine angle between two polarization filters, which only has an impact on the electric field of electromagnetic wave and has zero impact on the uh, magnetic field part. Question mark is, how does light intensity dimming process happen? Physics trivia. Why electric field has a major role in vision? Electric field has 100 million times more impact on our vision than magnetic field. And polarization is not light absorption or scattering process when light passes through opaque media, as expressed by the beer lambert equation. The difference be between beer lambert exponential decaying from a width of opaque material equation compared to Malu law of cosine equation is that total energy value stays constant for Malu law, where the Beer Lambert equation shows the total loss of light energy in process of absorption and light scattering. Does the conclusion does this conclusion imply time unit is reversible? The log mechanisms mechanism of time re, of, of time travel is written into math langu language for complex numbers. Ma math rule, rules break. And I, I like math for one reason. You cannot lie, cheat, destroy, corrupt, or in any way in manipulate math rule to get wanted answer. The math is ultimate truth. But with complex numbers, we do not get the opposite operation rule. Summation has a subtraction, opposite operation. Raising power has root operation. Multiplication has division operation. Integration has differentiation operation, which is always true, except for complex numbers, when we cannot reverse order and get the initial value. Re reverse operation collapses. Time machine is impossible and Bell paradox is also irreversible, even though the light is reversible in sense of energy quantity. And in my opinion, an ideal condition at the moment time equals zero energy equals to unit one. That is all folks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.